little loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and today we are going to be organizing my beauty products and my bathroom. This is the third video in my Organize With Me 2021. It's my final video and I'm so excited because after this I will have organized every nook and cranny, drawer, space in my house and I am so happy about that. Last week I did my closet and the bedrooms and I was able to declutter so many things and get rid of so many clothes that felt so good. So all that just went up on Poshmark and now I'm very excited to do the bathroom and my beauty products. With that being said, in today's video, there will be a giveaway. I will have all the information down below. I'm gonna keep it super simple. It'll probably just be like, make sure you're subscribed and following me on Instagram and on YouTube and comment on this video, but I will make sure I have all the information down there for you. I just want to be able to give you guys something back because I'm gonna be going through this and we'll have plenty to give and that just got really bright. Wow, sorry about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and start organizing and fix this lighting situation. So for today's video, we are going to be starting in my guest room, which also has all of my beauty products in drawers. Um, this is like my new arrival spin. This actually needs to be gone through, sorted, and organized into either my closet out in the hallway or into these drawers. And just like my other organizing videos, the rules still apply. So if I don't use it, if I no longer need it, or I can't find space for it, just go ahead and get rid of it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to find homes for everything in this bin. or give it to you guys. <laughs> and I also have a few PR packages sitting over on the dresser that also need to be put away. So I figured we'd go ahead and start with the bin up top, see what's in here and kind of organize it and see what needs to go where, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's do it. So this is kind of where I just throw all my new arrivals. So I am going to organize it into like skincare because that goes somewhere different than all of my makeup products. So. Okay, I roughly have it into piles. So this gives me a great idea of what needs to be put away. So what I'm gonna do is start with all the products that go into the bins, and then I can go through the bins and make sure everything in there I still use, but I gotta give myself more space on this bed to work with. So, let's put stuff away. So everything that's now left on the bed is skincare, which needs to go in my front closet. So I'm just going to put it back in the bin. And when we organize out there, I can know that all the stuff in this basket or this bin needs to be put away. And then we're going to go through these drawers and make sure I still use everything, check expiration dates, and make sure, yeah, it's all still good in there. I try to keep this organized and I go through it at least once a year. But every once in a while, obviously as I'm looking for something, it definitely gets unorganized. So I am going to make sure everything is in its right spot, everything's color coordinated, I try to keep it all organized. Let's start with lipsticks and just see what we got in here. All right, in this next container, we have blushes and bronzers, concealers, um, highlighters, and I think that's it. Um, this is, yeah, this needs to be gone through so bad. I actually need to go through these concealers because I really don't use a lot of them. Alright, in this container I have all of my lip pencils. I have, I'm gonna say it's like all of my like liquid lips, I think. Can I honestly just say I'm kind of happy that like matte lips are out. I feel like it never did me well. Like I never liked looking like I had like matte dry lips. I guess for like a glam look, but I'm definitely more of like a natural lip person. Um, the glossier the better. <laughs> so I haven't even like used these in so long, but I'll keep them just so I don't have to rebuy them. But yeah, very happy matte lips are out. Ooh, this next one is a big one. All right, and here I have all of my primers. I have my setting powders, more setting powders to look into that. And then we have foundations, which need to be gone through as well. The 
the foundation drawer seems to be done. I'm going to test some color foundations and see if I can get rid of anything. Um, but yeah, that needed it really, really bad. In here, I'm going to go through the mascaras. I actually do need to go through this one. Um, I'll probably give some to my mom. I just can't use this many mascaras. Unfortunately, some of them I can't put in here, at least out of this section, because I have tried them. Um, and then we have eyebrow pencils and eyeliners. I never get rid of eyeliners or lip liners because you just never know when you're gonna need a color or something unique, like for a costume or something random. Um, and I find that they don't really dry out and if they do, just toss it. So I always keep those. Um, but things like mascaras, those dry out real quick and they kind of get bacteria if you keep them too long. So always go through your mascaras and just get rid of them if you haven't used it in a while. All right, I moved fast through some of those drawers because they weren't very fun and like chapsticks and things like that. Um, and here I have all my face masks and setting sprays. I feel like I haven't been using setting sprays as often as normal. So I feel like, I feel like we don't need to keep some of these. Give some away, you know? Alright, we actually made it through all the bends. That wasn't too bad. I feel like I've done a lot better at going through it more consistently so it never feels like a big task as well as being really good at not holding on to things that I know I won't use. Like sometimes it's so exciting when you get PR packages and you're like, wow, that's so many colors, but realistically you're only going to use a few. So I've been trying to be good about keeping what I'll use and giving to you guys um, what I don't use. So very excited to fill all your boxes for the giveaway, but for now, these are all done. I'm just gonna finish a few things and throw a few things away, but we finished my beauty drawers, which was a big thing off of my list. So again, if you don't use it, if it's expired, and if it's just taking up space, just get rid of it. It is not worth you just holding on to a beauty product just because you think you might use it. It'll expire probably before you ever use it. Let's be real. So that's done. Let's move on to the front closet. All right, the front closet. This closet doubles as my beauty closet and as our front storage and linen closet. So it actually has many, many roles for this little, little space. So I added these racks onto the closet door when we moved in and it has been a lifesaver for storing my extra beauty products and it works out really well because I'm able to categorize it and know where everything is rather than it just be shoved in like a drawer or on a shelf. So I'm able to see everything. So this rack really, really helps. If you have a pantry door or a closet door that you're looking to add storage to, I highly recommend this system. Um, really like it. It worked. Worked out real well. Um, then in here, I store paper towels and toilet paper up top. I have cleaning supplies, extra beauty supplies, um, random storage that needs to be gone through. I, honestly, this all needs to be like cleaned up and organized. We have towels, we have beach towels, we have dog bags, we have beach bags. It's a mess. So what I want to do is start with organizing this stuff, then we'll go into the beauty products because I feel like I can't do this until I know that this is under control. So I'm gonna go grab a stool so I can reach up there. And again, same rules apply. We don't use it, we don't need it. And if products are expired or if there's rips or holes in towels, anything like that, just get rid of it. It makes your life so much easier. Just don't hold on to things, people. Don't hold on. What I am gonna do as well is move products. Like I have things kind of just shoved on random shelves. So if it doesn't belong there and it's not supposed to be there, I am going to move it so that way I can find a proper home for it rather than just shoving things on the shelves because nothing drives me more nuts than that. Like this big bottle of conditioner. I had it up here with cleaning supplies. That doesn't make sense. Why did I do that? All right, moving on to this shelf. This is where I store like bars of soap as well as this is like Q-tips and cotton rounds and things like that. So I am gonna organize this bin as well. tight quarters here when it comes to uh, organizing all this stuff for you. So this is like my, if I had a laundry room, this would be my laundry room. It is like all my extra mop heads, it's my little steamer, it's a belt, um, like the 
uh, what is it? A belt hole puncher, a like fabric defuzzer. Those are all the technical names for those things. <laughs> um, so if I had a laundry room, that is where all this stuff would be, like shoe shine, things like that. But I don't. So it's in this bin, so I do need to pull it out so I can figure out what's really, really happening in here. Okay, so this is officially now more of my cleaning laundry room bin. It wasn't a second ago. This bin is like backups of bathroom stuff. So we have toothpaste, we have cotton rounds, we have feminine products and lotions and things like that. Moving on to hand towels. Do not believe how ridiculous this pile of hand towels is. I do not need this many. <laughs> and whenever I reorganize towels, I always fold them the same, have the creases or the folds going the same way. It makes it so much prettier on a shelf and you'll feel more accomplished when you look at it. You're like, yep, I just did that. That looks nice. All right, I do have some hair towels here. And I actually like to keep these on hand for guests as well. Um, I think it's a nice little offering when I have people here. I just say, here's a hair towel. They're like, oh, that's sweet. Um, so yeah, look at that, nice. All right, and then moving right along to normal towels. These really need to be gone through. Um, I feel like I'm constantly washing towels here in Hawaii because it is so humid and I feel like towels just never dry right. So I'm always washing them because I don't like the way they smell and I it drives me nuts. So. My towels always look really worn really fast. So I'm just going to refold everything, go through them and get rid of the ones that just don't look good anymore. And I feel like it's so worth it because a new towel just feels so freaking nice. And I actually really love the ones from Costco. They're only like $8 and I just rotate them out frequent enough where $8 sounds really, really nice. And we love the way they feel, so it works out. So I went ahead and donated like half of them. Um, I kept two towels that I use as dog towels. Those are fine. They can be a little bit ratty, oldie. They're just meant for dogs. <laughs> and then I have our towels. I'm gonna grab a few more. These will become guest towels in a minute when I grab our new ones and it just works out great. It's just a nice little cycle I got going. Same with bath mats. Like I love white, crisp white towels and crisp white bath mats and they just never last. I always bleach them, I always oxy clean them and they just never stay super, super crisp white. I know that's the like, that's the hard part about white. Um, so, going through my bath rugs, I, I'm not gonna pull all this out because I never really pull most of this out anyway. It's just mainly beach towels, a few extra rugs and bath towels, um, but I did get rid of the one that is faded and not so, so pretty anymore. And that, my friends, is the linen closet. I like that I'm just doing this whole video from a stool. <laughs> Um, but this is now all organized. I feel really, really good about this. I do have a few things around me that I am going to put somewhere else, toss, donate, um, and reorganize when I get to the product. So I am going to quickly get some of this in order before I start this. So I will be back in one second. All right, so since my stool is already here, I'm going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Now, how I kind of have this organized, it definitely needs to be way better organized um, and gone through, <laughs> but I have like body lotions at the bottom, then I start with hair products, then I move into like self-care, like um, shower products, shampoo, um, and then we move up into like face and skincare. So, Let's go through this. Okay, 
so I kind of been rearranging. I went ahead and put like my body washes, my hairspray, and my body lotions on the bottom just because of the biggest bottles and that has the most room. And up here I did like shampoos, dry shampoos, oils, um, just hair products on this shelf. And now we're kind of transitioning into skincare. Um, we still have some hair on this shelf, but I have to see what else I got in other places just to make sure I'm giving each category enough space. in Hawaii. Okay, now we're working up our way to skincare. This needs some serious organization as well. Um, honestly, it all does. You guys already can tell that. I'm just going to go through it, um, see what I haven't used, what I can give away, what the situation is. Wow, that looks so much better. I'm gonna make sure everything is put away, but I actually have room on these shelves now, which is pretty freaking impressive. That's not always the case. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure everything's put away and I'll be back. All right, my friends, I think we successfully organized all of my beauty drawers as well as my beauty closet and the front closet. And you wouldn't believe what I was able to take out of here. It's funny how sometimes I just keep putting stuff in and you just keep adding to and you forget to actually use it. So um, a lot of that will be in the giveaway as well as the products that I've already used. I'll give to my mom or Sawyer's mom. Um, but yeah, this looks so much better. Very happy. You guys should see my donations pile. Very, very, very proud of myself. All right. That's it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow when we organize the actual bathroom and underneath the sinks and drawers and all of that. See you then. <laughs> Alrighty, good afternoon. It is the next day and we are going to continue organizing the bathroom and beauty products. Today we are in my bathroom as you can tell, not this really awkward um, angle, but we're here. So the goal for my bathroom is to go through everything. The same rules still apply. If it's expired, if I don't use it, or if it's empty, get rid of it. I definitely want to be a little bit more picky. I feel like I have too much in our cabinets right now, so I feel like I just end up not using any of it. So I'd rather have just what I need in here and then put everything else in my beauty closet so when I'm looking for something, I know where it is rather than it be overwhelming like in the drawers that I use every day. So we're gonna start in this white cabinet. This is just a little decor piece that I have, but it actually works out well because I use it as extra storage as well. So on this first step is products for guests as well as like bath soaps or bath bubble bath. Wow, I just drew a blank. Or like um, bath salts and shower sprays and those type of things, bath bombs. So we're gonna reorganize that and make sure it's all good. And then on this bottom shelf, we have like band-aids and extra toothbrushes, Q-tips, things like that. And I actually have some new containers that I want to add. So I'm gonna go grab those real quick before we even start, because I feel like that'll help this process. Extra bins, I don't know what's gonna be easiest. I know this is like, I'm giving you guys tough, angles today. All right, so I get all of my containers from Target because it's the closest place to me. I don't have a Dollar Tree, I don't have Ikea or a container store, anything like that. I just have Target. So these are just containers from Target. I will link them below. I've used them in the kitchen. I use them in like cabinets. I use them everywhere. So same here. So we're going to see if I need to or if any of these will fit in here. I hope they do because I really need it. Yeah, let's do that. That works. Now I feel like you guys can see a little more. Oh my gosh, yes! Okay, we're gonna use this for bath stuff. P.S. If you are looking for a luxurious bath bomb experience like bubble bath, try the J.R. Watkins bath elixirs. They smell so freaking good. I've been talking about them now for like months and I'm obsessed. So 
I might work on this a little bit, but it definitely looks better right here. I might just gotta figure out if I don't switch out these bins. I might switch this to a smaller bin, so that way I can have a little bit more room. I don't think all this needs to, first of all, be in here. Second of all, need to be taking up that much room. Um, so I might just go to Target later today and maybe just test out a smaller container, but that is much, much better in my opinion. I can actually see what's going on. <laughs> so I feel like this is good. Let's go ahead and move over to these drawers. All right, next we're gonna go through the drawers. In this top drawer, we keep our toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, like little, little things like chapsticks, acne cream, floss, all that jazz. And just make sure that, that doesn't need to be in there. Um, just make sure everything in here has a purpose, you know? In this second drawer is where I keep all of my skincare items. Um, Wow, I need to wipe this out for sure. Um, yeah, this needs to be gone through. And a lot of things I put in here to try and then it ends up staying in here and somehow it just doesn't become part of like my everyday routine. So I just need to clear this out, make sure everything that's in here is what I'm actually using. And I always say open up the jars and test products. And what I mean by that is make sure that it doesn't smell funny or that it's dried out or anything weird like that because again sometimes you hold on to these things with the intention of using them and it doesn't happen and it sits here and just goes bad. You may not be able to tell but there are little dividers at the bottom so it helps me organize all these products so I have like my oils and eye creams up here. I have my lash serums here. I have my like face washes, serums, and moisturizers right here. I have acne treatments right here. Back here I have masks, sunscreens, and self tanners, and then deodorant. Like these are my products that I use daily. So yeah, this felt really, really nice just to go through that because this kind of got out of hand for a second. All right, down here is where I keep my daily or very, very frequently used hair products or hair tools, I should say, I'm sorry. Um, so these are all my T3 products. I have my two curling irons, I have the Curl ID and my wand that I use to match my natural wave. And then I have my T3 Lucea, as well as my T3 Fit, my little baby hair dryer, which is awesome because it's so small so it can actually fit in this drawer. Um, so I will link these down below too because I do have a code, I don't know if you guys know. Um, so if you guys have ever been interested in trying any of the T3 products, they're great. I I loved them. I've been using them for years and they're really sweet people as well. So this is basically my little T3 drawer. <laughs> that I keep very, very organized. Okay. Let's, I wish I could get some of this off. Like oil splatters, like skincare oil and it just won't come off. There we go, it's a little better. Let's move on to underneath the cabinets, shall we? All right, so underneath my sink, I have a lot of stuff, first of all. <laughs> but last year, I actually went through and added a bunch of containers in my Organize With Me 2020. So this year, I don't need to add any more containers, I just need to organize it, and again, make sure everything that's down here needs to be in here and that I actually use, otherwise I'll put back in my beauty closet um, to basically refine again. <laughs> this first container is hair products that I use daily. These are like my everyday hair products. So let's just take this out. Underneath here, we have more hair products. And these are products that I like to use every once in a while. They're just more like extras, but they are products that I frequently use in my routine. Um, so again, just gonna make sure everything in here is still good and that I still use it. So in this container is all of like my body lotions and like self tanners. And this container is all of my perfumes. All right, so now the whole bottom area of products have been gone through. I got rid of so many perfumes. I had no idea how much space the perfumes were taking up. All right, so that's it on the product front. That actually wasn't too bad to organize. It's just nice to make sure everything under here is what I use. Otherwise, it gets so cluttered that I end up not using the things I want to use. I just grab like what I'm used to using, if that makes sense. So it feels really good to be able to pull some of this out and put it back into my beauty closet rather than just being overwhelmed with this stuff. 
So now let's go through my makeup products and like hair stuff over here. Um, we'll start at the top. So I got these containers at the container store when I lived in LA and I just brought them with us when we moved. They are a lifesaver. They're actually like the t-shirt box, um, shoe box, and a few other boxes. I'll try to link the ones that I had gotten. Um, but they are a gem for makeup organization. That's what I use for my, um, all of my makeup drawers that we organized at first and they're godsend. So this first one is all of my eyeshadow brushes or like little small makeup brushes. I actually just cleaned all of these and I don't use these quite, don't use them very, very, very often. So those should be pretty fine. Next we have all of my face brushes. Now this does need to be gone through. So I am gonna organize this because this is the one that gives me the most, most grief when I'm looking for things. The problem with this drawer is I end up throwing all of my like um, brow pencils in here, mascaras, because this is the drawer I pretty much pull out when I get ready. So when I'm cleaning up, I just throw it all in there. It always gets so stuffed. So what I did is took everything that doesn't belong in this drawer out so that way I can properly organize it into the bin it's supposed to be in. Um, so now this drawer is just makeup brushes how it's supposed to be. <laughs> this next one is all of my makeup that I use on the daily. So, sorry, I'm trying to balance my hand. We have foundations, concealers, um, like CC creams, eyeshadows, and then these are all of my powders and bronzers and things like that. And just like everything else, I need to make sure what is in here are things I actually use because again, so often, <sighs> things get thrown in here and just end up staying in here and it's not things I like using. All right, we made it to this bottom drawer, which is basically makeup accessories. And then down here we have like mascaras, um, lip liners, extra stuff, and then hair products. Now, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be, but it is not that right now. So let's make it that because this is a freaking mess. All right, so the last container underneath my sink is now done. So I'm gonna quickly put all of this away and clean up the mess that I made before I start under Sawyer's. But that was some progress. Like, ugh, there was so much clutter and now I feel like I can actually find what I'm looking for. <sighs> okay, let me put this away real quick. All right guys, we have made it to the last part of this video, which is organizing underneath Sawyer's sink. Now, again, it's kind of tight quarters. So I'm gonna do my best to show you guys how I organize it. I'll probably just pull out the bins and show you what I put in each bin. Honestly, um, I think I need to redo his fully. Um, I'm not loving the drawers that I got, and I'm not loving the whole organization system. He just doesn't keep it the way. I would like him to. <laughs> so I thought I would just try again and see how we do. If not, I'm gonna order something else from Amazon. But let me get in here and see what we got. So under here I have two of these bins, one of them with all of our hair brushes, and then this one is all of his cologne and some of his like self-care products. So these are really easy because he can pull them out if he needs to, and I like that they're tall enough so that way things like don't fall out or tip over or anything like that. So those are two of the main things under here. All right, and then we have these stackable drawers from Amazon. They're really noisy, so bear with me. I'm gonna pull it all out and vacuum it first and then I'll go through it because I guarantee, I guarantee, yep, I guarantee it's a mess under here. Sorry, the second half is like kind of tough to see, but you know. We're dealing with what we got. Okay, so in here I have all of his like beard oils and hair care and all of that jazz. I don't even know if he uses any of this to be completely honest. I should probably ask him because I feel like a lot of this doesn't even need to be in here. <laughs> and then in this top container, I keep all of his like shaving accessories and necessities, all the chargers, everything like that. Um, I actually just organized this with um, everything into baggies and such, so it shouldn't be too bad. 
Um, actually, it's really not that bad. I'll probably have to redo it again shortly. So, I'm kind of just going to leave this how it is. drawers. All right, now I'm just going to put this all away, make sure everything's clean and put away, and we will finish this video. Well, loves, there you have it. That was the final video, at least going through my house and my Organize With Me 2021, organizing the bathroom and beauty closet. Ah, oh, this needed to be done so bad, and I'm so happy it's done. So if you have not reset your home for the new year, go ahead and make a goal to do a good spring clean. And I will link all three videos down below. So if you, in case you guys need a little inspiration, any tips and tricks, it'll all be there. My kitchen organization is my favorite because I shared so many tips and tricks and little goodies in there. So um, yeah, definitely check that one out. But don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I will be posting more organizing videos. Um, I'm going to be going through my mom's closet here soon and helping her so you can kind of see my process um, while going through somebody else's closet, which might be interesting and fun. I'm excited to do it. So be sure you're subscribed so you guys do not miss out. As, ooh, ooh, ooh. And also I'm going to start vlogging again. I haven't vlogged since about Christmas. Um, kind of snuck up on me. We're already... Ugh, we're already almost to April, which is crazy. So we have a few things fun planned in April, including going to Maui with my family. So I'm very excited for that. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on some of these upcoming journeys and days in my life and all that jazz. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.